In today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about making your own webs. It's so easy, even a kid can do it. But first, what exactly is webbing? First appearing in Amazing Fantasy 15, web shooters are Spider-Man's trademark gadget, which he invented to web swing and catch criminals. Through the years, artists have drew them differently, but my favorite has always been the way McFarlane drew his, even getting the name Spaghetti Webbing. And that spaghetti webbing is just what we're going to be doing today. In today's video, we are going to be showing you and taking you even to the store. We're going to go to the store. I'm going to show you where this stuff is on the shelf. This is like a $4 project. So you guys do not need money. We are going to be making some really cool web accessories for Marvel Legends. And I'm even going to make some mini ones for my mini mates. What? This is pretty much all you need right here. You don't need these. If you have them, it'll make it easier. Ask your parents if you are a kid watching and then uh, obviously we need the webbing and right now is your chance to go to the store because where you can get this webbing uh, many stores have it it's it's just 22 gauge white wire if you go right now to Michaels they have this in the wreath sections. This is the nicest white one that I've seen because it's not too white that it looks cartoony. This is one of my first attempts. I tried different ones. This is a, a better second attempt, I think. What I kept doing was, this is nice, but it's too short for me. I want it to be so long that it's just crazy all over the place. That's the effect I'm going for right now. So. If you're not going for that, just make it a little bit shorter. I think about um, 12 inches is where you can go if you don't want the McFarlane webs. But just watch what I'm doing and you know, you could take it from there. Let me see, I don't, I want it longer than this, like double. So we're gonna put that and then that. Okay, so I'm going big. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, and I'm gonna do it just two this time. So um, you'll see. I'm just going with the uh, two wire. So you can do two wires, three wires. There's different, different people drew him with different types of wiring, but I think the one to two wire is uh, good. And you'll see what, it, what I mean by that with the thickness. Now, this is where the pliers come in handy uh, because they have, a, a, these are wire cutters. You know, you could use all different types. There's a little cut right there, boom. All right, so what we want is we're gonna go I'm gonna go double this I'm gonna go double this so and then we're gonna fold it over one time So you're gonna want to make a little loop on this side if you if you can Because that's where you're gonna you'll see that's where your hands his hand is gonna hold and then boom and then we're gonna go one more time so so this is equal, right? So you do the the second wire is equal. And then the third wire, we're going to just fold it and make it the same length as the other two, but then a little bit longer. So make that third wire the longest one. Boom, cut that. We have our two string right there, but then we also have... This third one will be the rope that's gonna bind it together and basically, you'll see. So let's just start doing loops. What you're gonna wanna do is the end, you could go crazy. Boom, there you go. And now we're gonna loop it around and there's like little breaks so you can get messy. That's the thing, it's fun, it's up to you. Uh, but I would, I usually do one, two, three, four. You do a little bit of a bump right there. Just one, two, three, four, five. Now this is where it's gonna start looking nice. You do five, six. I just do like a bunch of tight wraps, right? And then this is the trick. This is the trick. After you do those tight wraps, you pull them. You pull it tight like this. You pull it tight so that they look nice and tight like that. That's what you want. So you want that tightness because then it just looks a lot neater and cleaner while also looking messy, but it also keeps it together. So keep wrapping this. One, two. Oh, knock over your camera. 
four, five, six, and let's pull it together. So you could do like five or six, and then you just pull it together. Ah, makes it nice and tight. Look at that. Now we're start, it's starting to look like a webbing. You see that? It's starting to look like webbing. So just you just keep doing this and you'll get the hang of it. You might do one or two, or you might get it on the first shot. And then it just starts, it, you have fun with it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, there's no right or wrong way. You could do it really thick. You could do it thin. It's really just like, you could just, just F around and find out right there. Look. What? Boom. Spidey's webs are really just crazy anyway. Like there's no rhyme or reason to them. Let's tighten this. Let's give this a little tight right now. Let's see, how's that looking? Now it's looking very nice so far. So another thing, again, there's no right or wrong uh, like way. I kind of ran, ran out on that third one th doing the webs. So I just cut another piece and we're gonna attach it. And that's the cool thing with this is like, it could be messy because you know, it's not, it's not a neat thing. It's not a neat thing. So I just, I will now just put that in, watch this. So I'm gonna wrap it around and then we're gonna actually just basically metal tie it in and you're not even gonna tell the difference. I'm gonna get it on there even and you're not even gonna know that this is a new piece. So again, if uh, if I can't influence you to just give it a try yourself, uh, they're really, you really can't make a mistake. And wait till you see them in poses, you're gonna really wanna make something for yourself. So here we are, my two tries. This is my, one of my first tries right here. And again, I just really went crazy on this one. Now it is harder to do the longer it is. So I would definitely recommend try smaller. I mean, when I first tried, I did this really small little one and you could see like, look at the really nice little details there. Uh, and this is a four, I think I did four thickness and these are two thicknesses. So let's get into some poses right now. So I have my Renew Your Vows Spider-Man right here. And again, love this damn figure. I just recently picked it up on Facebook Marketplace and I am glad I did because I have been really enjoying this figure. So we're gonna try to get him into some sort of dynamic pose. There you go. Some swinging pose. Yeah, there you go. That looks pretty good, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, well, he's looking up. There you go. That looks better. Let's get to the figure. So what I did at the end, I showed you guys before, is I kind of looped it around. You don't have to do this, but I did because if it does have a gripping hand like this, you can put it in his hand and uh, you could tighten it up too. So I might make this a tiny bit smaller so it does fit in his hand better. Right there, look, now he's holding it. And what we're gonna wanna do is just, I'm gonna wrap it around. I feel like SpongeBob. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. I think wrapped once is good. Here we go. Now it's McFar. I'm going for the McFarlane look. So we're gonna just, this is just gonna go everywhere. It's gonna go under there, there. And look, see, like, I thought this was gonna be super long and crazy and everything and it really isn't even that big so i might even want to do longer than this because i want like the pose to be like that crazy i, I really want to go for a mcfarland style oh there you go look how much different the same pose as before but just so much more dynamic and if you're going to be posting like on tiktok you know a lot of people do the tiktok poses which I, I've been trying myself. And it's like, just look at that. Like that is just so much better from a composition standpoint than if there was no stuff on there, you know? Than if there was no uh, 
there were no webs. You could just have, have fun with it because that's the whole point. That's why we do this, right? That's why we do all this stuff. We just have fun, pose them around. Let me see how it looks on the mini mate actually. Now, do you guys collect Minimates? Anyone here collect Minimates? I know everyone collects Marvel Legends, so you don't have to ask about that, but uh, you believe it or not, I've messed around with Minimates enough in my life that you could actually get some decent Spider-Man poses with Minimates. I know that sounds hard to believe, but uh, let's see. Let's see how crazy this is. This might be a little too long. Now I might go for the mini mates. I think I'm gonna do a one, a one string. Like I said, you remember there's. Oh yeah, look at that. That even looks good though. Like if you if you did a toy photography of that, you know you obviously put more time into it. But so guys, what do you think? Are you gonna try to make your own webs? Was this helpful? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a comment. Check me out on TikTok and Instagram. Rock with a great art is my name on there. Let me know if you guys want any more tutorials and I will see you guys in the next video. I want to give a big shout out to all my channel members. You guys make videos like this possible. These are the videos that, you know, might not get crazy views, but you guys supporting the videos, you guys being channel members, I appreciate you. And everyone in the chat should thank you guys as well. Goose Gang, let's go. And if you want to become a channel member, there's a lot of exclusive stuff. We even started doing channel member only live streams that are kind of like after parties to my live streams. Down in the description is your way that you can join. And I'll see you guys in the next toy hunt. Bye.